whether you're waiting at a bus stop, walking down the street, or sitting on the patio of a restaurant, you can't help but notice some drivers in their trucks for the wrong reasons. It's called rolling coal, and it's becoming a bigger problem in Fort Collins. 7 News reporter Mark Royal is live, and Mark, police there are now cracking down on rolling coal. And people who eat at uh, little diners like this are glad for that. There are a lot of outdoor seating areas here in Fort Collins that line Old Town. One problem, a select group of people are trying to ruin that atmosphere as they drive down College Avenue. Old Town Fort Collins is a relaxing spot where a lot of people come to enjoy the atmosphere. But some Fort Collins teens are ruining that for those dining, walking, and biking. Driving, a lot of times trucks, I mean, they speed up, and you got to roll your windows up as fast as you can. Otherwise, your car's going to be filled with black smoke. So it's just kind of annoying. Black smoke like this. It's called rolling coal, as seen in these YouTube videos. Cars and trucks set up to blow massive amounts of exhaust. It's illegal, and Fort Collins police are taking several complaints a month here on this issue. We hope that it'll eventually have an impact, but there's so many of them that, you know, we're hoping that the word spreads so that they stop doing it. So your turbo and mechanics all over Colorado aren't helping those roll coal any longer. Ray Schleppy owns Bullhide 4x4. He says it's easy to do for anybody mechanically minded. With a few tweaks to the piping and computer software on the truck. What these guys do is they'll eliminate from the muffler all the way out to the back. This black suit is what you're seeing coming out of those pipes. That's unburnt fuel. An environmental hazard and trend that many hope those rolling coal will be rolling out of town for good. So the penalty? They're charging them with exhibition of speed. It's a five point violation. Plus fines. Live in Old Town Fort Collins, Mark Boyle, 7 News.